What's up guys, good morning. I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating. I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me what I eat, like some type of secret, but a lot of the meals that I eat today are gonna be kind of similar to what you already know. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I eat and I'm gonna show you like what I do to add little flavors here and there. And I mean, we're in the off season, so I kind of have a little bit more leniency, meat more. Um, but typically I still like to eat, you know, within the guidelines of a prep. Um, obviously just more servings and you know adding stuff that I wouldn't normally eat so first things we got I was able to cook rice last night so we have this pack of rice this BB go it's a little quick little pack that you can throw in the microwave for like about a minute and a half and then you got your rice ready um, it's pretty good it's like 70 grams of carbs um, 310 calories per pack so it's like a little bit of a, I have all the macros of all my meals towards the end of the video, if I remember to do it. Um, so that way you guys can see like where my calories are, and my macros are, so that way we're on the same page. Then we have three eggs, and then I'll have like eight ounces, eight to 10 ounces of liquid egg whites. And then I have oatmeal. I like the quick oats. I like the small ones. I don't really like the bigger ones. I like eating the bigger ones because when you're in prep, you want to feel like you're eating a lot. So, um, and then what I add is sometimes I'll add this little Hershey. Um, you're like, what the hell are you doing with that Hershey? But I like chocolate. Or sometimes I'll do like little brownie batter. Like for example, this one's the Oreo one. And then I'll sprinkle my protein in there, which is my mass gainer. Need that to grow in the off season again. You hear my daughter and that's who's talking. <laughs> so, gonna get this meal underway. Uh, we're just gonna go through the motions of cooking, obviously, and then I'll show you guys the final, final product. All right, well, we got the onions steaming over here. Um, usually I like to cook the onions first, then crack the eggs over it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with the oatmeal. I got the scale, I just cleared it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit. No, it's a little much, but oh well. So if you come over here and check it out, basically got 70, or no, sorry, seven and a half grams of um, oats. So, one second. I am a pussy. I use milk. I don't care. Talk shit. Works for me. Sometimes I'll put water. When I was in prep, I'll do low fat. So, boom. There you go. And then, grab a little half a scoop of my protein. So we have two options. We got the Hershey. I'm probably gonna go with the Oreo this time around. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this. Little, what do you uh, what do you call this brownie butter? I don't know, but put a little bit of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nothing too much. Just have a little bit of flavor. Have vanilla protein and then chocolate brownie in here. Put it the hell's going on. I don't care. Do your thing. 
I messed up because normally I heat up the oatmeal and I did not do that. So we're just gonna go ahead and stir it up. heat up the the oatmeal first and then put all the condiments but it ended up not I ended up doing it the other way so we're gonna heat it up and then I'll show you how the oatmeal looks when it's all done. Right. That's how it looks but just gotta start up probably a little bit more so Put a little bit too much milk, but it's okay. Still go down. So that's the onion. So we got the onion steaming. Now we're gonna go ahead and crack the, the egg in it. Alright guys, so this is the final product. Got the oatmeal right here. Got the egg whites and the eggs over here with the rice. And I will have the macros attached to this video. We're here at Costco. We're doing a full day eating, so I gotta show you what I shop for. Got a little bit of stuff right here. The onions, the beef, eggs, rice, pull-ups. So, yeah. I'll uh, see you guys at the next meal. Now we're back from meal number two. This is kind of like a pre-workout meal in a way. Um, I'll try to jam pack. I should have woke up a little earlier. Sometimes you have to wake up early or sleep a little later to get your meals in. But what we got, one whole potato. I do three slices of bread. Nuts in your mouth with the peanut butter. Good for the protein. All right. And then, just so that way you guys see that I'm not cheating, I'm gonna eat a little bit of leftover chicken katsu from l and Condiments for these, the potatoes, we chopped it up like some french fries, got the sugar free ketchup, Hans. yeah I had to read the label, and then for the l I got a little bit of sriracha, both, this one's zero calories, this one's ten, uh, try not to waste your calories on condiments and drinks guys, so yeah, that's going to be meal number two, I'll have the calories and macros down below, and then we're going to go ahead and get this ready, I'll show you guys the final product. Yeah, I skip the top bread. Yeah, I, I, I do that. I skip the top bread. I was gonna be like, who eats it? I put in the toaster. I toast it for about three minutes so that way it's nice and crunchy. Mm. Bread back here. Now, we already finished peeling the potato. Now, time to chop it up. I go long ways because I don't know, I just do.
Yes. Okay, I'm going. the final product so when you're on prep I mean even when you're not on prep when you're in the off season you're trying to grow this is a great source of carbs potatoes rice oatmeal all that jazz bread even um, okay not the best it's still one not bad so now we have our meals here I was kind of impatient and I already kind of took a bite out of it but we had our three breaded peanut butter sandwich with nuts. Um, so like I said, I just got a few pieces of the chicken katsu, had another pack of the BB go rice. I'm gonna use, for this one, we're gonna use sriracha for the potatoes, sugar pea ketchup. All right, so go ahead and sprinkle it all over, a little razzle dazzle, as you can say. Boom, all right. And we're gonna have the sriracha. Right here. Right here. Okay. So, this is the meal number two, kind of pre-workout. Potatoes, which is basically french fries, chicken katsu with a little bit of rice, swatch on top. Three better peanut butter sandwich. That's pretty much it. And then I'll show you guys my post-workout, and then our dinner later on, and then what I, do, what I drink for protein shakes. So that should be about five meals, six, if I add in a snack which I probably will just for the sake of the video. So yeah, I'll catch you guys after. All right, so now we're back at home after the workout. We hit a little bit of a push day. It's mainly shoulder dominant today. Um, so post-workout EAs, um, got MHP Dark Matter. I basically do eight ounces of water, right? My shaker cup. And then I put in two scoops of these. Um, you can hear my daughter. It's the life of a dad. So, we're gonna go ahead and pour 10 ounces of water. Right. Boom, 10 ounces like you can see, but I'm just gonna pretend like you can see. Then we're gonna do two scoops of my EAs, post workout, all right. Okay, boom. it's for muscle growth and recovery. So boom, all right. One scoop, two scoops. All right, so that's that. Again, this is my EAs post workout that I take once I'm done. I usually do my protein shake before bed. So there it is. Got the water. Obviously, I get the water from Costco because Kirkland's the best brand, in my opinion. Don't hate me. I mean, I like Essentia too, and Fiji. Oh. The best. Perfect. Then go ahead and shake it up. And that's, I guess you can call that a meal. So that's basically the third meal. Or the fourth, if you counted the meal before where I had the chicken katsu and the potatoes and bread. So kind of mesh that together. So meal number three, 
four, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to go ahead and cook the traditional good old chicken and rice. But I'm going to show you guys how I cook it in the next video. All right. Now we're about to cook some dinner. It's going to be meal number four or five if you count meal number two as two meals. Um, so right here what we have is your typical chicken breast. Um, six pieces of shrimp, right? These are the condiments we're going to use. Salt, pepper, garlic salt. Pepper. Well, why are you using salt? Because I want sodium in my stuff, right? Lemon pepper, and then Mrs. Dash seasoning of Southwest Chipotle. As always, my favorite, we're going to top it off with some sriracha. And then usually I would have the rice cooker going, but right now, since it's kind of getting late, BB Go rice packet again. So. 300 calories, 310 calories per pack, about 70 grams of carbs, just for that. And then we're gonna go ahead, season this, let it sit for a little bit. Go ahead and put in the air fryer, heat up the rice. It's gonna be a quick, easy fix. It's gonna be like, probably like, what, 30 minutes to prepare the shrimp and the chicken if you cook them separately. And then obviously it only takes about a minute and a half to cook the rice, so it's gonna be a quick little meal. And then show you how I prep it and then We'll show you the finished product. Chop it over here.
All right, so this is basically the finished product as you have. We had two chicken breasts that I chopped up. I had six pieces of shrimp, which I basically already cooked. Um, it was all done within 25 minutes. Um, I heated up my to-go rice. Usually I'll have the rice cooker. It'd be done around the same time. So right here, about have, I have about like eight ounces of chicken breast and maybe like two ounces, three pieces of shrimp. And obviously with the BB Go rice pack, got that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some sriracha on it. Again, with the sriracha, zero calories, just a bunch of sodium in it. So go ahead and lather it down. You can, I mean, if you are in prep, I mean, I can drink whatever I want right now because I'm in the off season, but I still stick to diet soda. Zero calories, again, just a bunch of sodium. You need your water. So this would be technically meal number four or five, again, depending on meal number two, if you count it as two. So yeah, I'll, again, I'll have the macros down at the end of the video. I post it right, right at the bottom so that way you can see and then when I'm done I'm gonna calculate the whole macros how much calories it is the carbs fats proteins and all that so the next meal is gonna be the last one it's gonna basically be a protein shake I'm gonna show you what I put in my protein shake the scoop and all that stuff and then I even have a Costco muffin with it just depends on where I'm at but yeah see you then all right so technically this would be our last meal meal five or six if you count again the second meal is two. All right, so what we have here is a simple protein shake, but we also have a Costco muffin. Yes, I like chocolate, so it is all chocolate. So again, I'm a pussy, so we use milk instead of water. Um, I use two tabs of glutamine for recovery because if you're removing the amount of weight that I do, you want your muscles to recover. Um, and then on top of that, I have my um, flavorless creatine. With that, you could put it in anything you put in your coffee, your protein, helps you retain water, builds your strength, builds your muscles, all that good stuff. Side note, I don't want you guys to think I'm on freaking drugs. So what I do here is I have fish oil because you want your omega-3s because we always get omega-6s omega through our eggs and stuff. Vitamin D3 for your bone health and vitamin C. So those are basically the vitamins I take. I usually take multivitamins too, but I don't have that right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do 12 ounces of whole milk. This is homogenized milk. I don't know if I said that right. And then a scoop and a half of my mass gainer protein and a scoop of creatine and then two tabs of the glutamine. And then I'm gonna down this Costco muffin cause it is bomb and I'm a hard gainer, which means that I was skinny. My metabolism was very high, still kind of is. So it's hard for me to gain mass. I was a skinny kid growing up. so. Um, it could be a blessing or a curse, whatever, which way you look at it. So we're going to go ahead, make this protein shake, and then I'll guys show you guys the finished product. This looks like. <laughs> this definitely looks like drugs, but it is not. I promise you, it's glutamine. It's for recovery. Trust and believe. I'm not on any gear or steroids, as people may think. It looks sketchy, but trust me, it's not. When you do your research and you actually try out these products, you'll know that it is not drugs. But if you think I'm on drugs, I look at it as a compliment because I'm nat I'm natty, as they say. So, you know, if you think I'm on drugs, that's, that means I work hard and what I'm doing must work. If you think I have to cheat to get there, you know, so. Here we go. Got a whole scoop. Boom. And about half. There you go, so a scoop and a half of mask in here. I'm gonna put that to the side. Normally, a lot of people have to put it in shaker cups. I like to do it in the blender because I don't like having those chunks in my stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the blender, shake it up. Wow. All right, so now this is the finished product. Obviously, you have protein shake with glutamine added and creatine, Costco muffin, fish oil, vitamin D3, vitamin c and that's pretty much it this is technically my last meal of the day meal five or six depending on how you look at it 
Um, so that concludes my full day of eating. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will have the macros at the end. So it's gonna have it totally calculated, all the carbs, the fats, proteins, all that good jazz. And if you guys wanna see another one with a good variety, cause I do have more stuff that I do eat, but there's only so much that you can eat in a day. So if you guys want more content like that, comment down below, let me know. Um, again, I'm gonna be posting my workout vlogs again. I just saw I've been lacking on YouTube, just been really busy. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time.